In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a technology model in LT Spice. So here you can see that we want to add a technology model into LT Spice. So these are the steps you are going to do. The first step that is required is to create the circuit using NMOS or PMOS on the schematic in LT Spice. Second step is open the website ptm.asu.edu uh, that is predictive technology model and select the technology you want to add. Open the technology in the new tab. Then next step is save the file in the folder you have saved your schematic. Alternatively, you can provide the path. If you do not save the file in the location where you are actually supposed to do, you are supposed to get some error. After that, in the last step, in the spice directive box, dot op, provide the path as dot include and followed by the name of the file. And that is, you are ready to use that particular file. Now, here are the steps on schematics. Uh, this is the website you are going to open. Predictive technology model. Here you can see uh, on the extreme left, you will find out some menus, introduction, latest models. Uh, so you click on latest models. So it will be like that. And there you will find out the different models which you are going to select. So suppose you select 65 nanometer, then it will be open like this. So this is your model file. Then you are going to save it. This is the way you are going to save it. And I have created the folder MOS characteristics. In this, I am saving these files. 65 nanometer, 180 nanometer, and 130 nanometer underscore bulk. And the extension of the file will be uh, important. Normally, by default, it is .txt. So it does not matter. You can keep it as .txt. The next step is your schematic is ready. And then uh, you are supposed to open from here you will suppose to open dot op and then in that your window will pop up like this here you will write dot include the file name dot txt and here we go your system is ready to use so now i will be showing you how you are going to use this on schematic now i have opened this file this is already being created by me and i'm going to do the dc analysis for this and the next thing is i will show you how you can work with this without simulation so i have not included the model and I am going to simulate it. So here you can see uh, these are your characteristics. And uh, you can see that it is around 160 micro ampere. And these are the values I am giving. So mind it, these are the random values. I am, I am not including any models here. The value is around 160 micro amperes. Now I am using dot op. Here, I am placing this command dot include 180 nanometer underscore bulk text. This is the name of the file. It is being placed in the same folder in which my project is. So now my system is ready to go. I am simulating it. And here you can see in the previous, I am getting 160 micro amperes. Here it is 630 micro amperes. And if you change the WL ratio, it is 180 that is fixed. So suppose I'm making it uh, around 540. 
okay so now again i am simulating it and getting current so it is 360 so reduced so that means your model is actually working with your other system uh, if you want to change it you can change it uh, here instead of 180 i am putting uh, 65 nanometer okay so now i am going to change it so making 65 nanometer and keeping w well ratio 2 130 nanometer and now i am simulating this so i think this is this file is not there in my folder so i will be putting it as i am keeping it here and pasting it on into my folder now i have pasted in my folder okay now simulating it yeah now it is in folder and here you can see for 65 nanometer i am getting this value 270 micro amperes so i will be changing it to say 650 nanometer and let's see what is the impact so here you can see it is 1.4 milli amperes yeah one thing uh, need to be changed that with 65 nanometer we are not supposed to get that high voltage so it need to be changed 0.9 volts is sufficient so now i am simulating this and here it is having some change yeah this dc command need to be changed so it is 0.9 and it is to be 0.9 okay so these are the changes you are supposed to make so here you can see uh, these are the currents in the initial values you don't have much current later on you are having this yeah you get the freedom to select any of the steps go into the right click view select steps and here suppose i select 0.9 then okay so this is the current for 0.9 uh, if you want to select some other then suppose you want to select to 0.4 so this is the current for 0.4 yeah characteristics are not that much good uh, but uh, this is being used to get the models so i hope uh, you get the fair idea of how things are being actually being done and you are getting things for this so that's all for the day i hope you like the video thank you very much and please like and share to support the content of the channel